Okay, so when we got home from church this afternoon, earlier this afternoon, we started looking at some of the comments that you guys had made on our video, uh, and there was a common one that we knew we were going to have to deal with, uh, but just didn't have a connection, and that was uh, getting a farrier for our donkey Eeyore. Well, this is really cool. So what's really cool is this. We got home and we started making phone calls trying to find a farrier. Now, what you may not know about um, our journey is that when we lived in Ohio, we had a mini Dexter cow and her hooves were jacked up. And we kept trying to get a farrier to come and visit. And we called three and got stood up three times. Nobody would come to do just one cow. Even though we were willing to pay more money, nobody wanted to come and do just one cow. But the weird thing was they would just randomly cancel like an hour before they were supposed to be there. Anyway, I digress. So we started making some phone calls and um, it just we just didn't get anybody on the phone right away. And then we finally got somebody and we believe we have one scheduled, however, that was only the beginning of the cool part. So hopefully two weeks from now, uh, Eeyore's hooves will be taken care of because she's far too big for us to mess with. Um, you see, we'd, we would risk getting hurt or the animal getting hurt. However, now, so a friend of the family, Sarah is her name. She is such a rock star. She heard about what we were doing and said, you know what, um, why don't we just go ahead and take care of all your animals that, that we, I mean, we can't do the big ones, but let's go ahead and do all the goats. And, and she was here actually to help disbud the little baby goats because they're going to be 4-H goats and 4-H goats, you can't have horns. So she was there originally to disbud the, uh, the goats. And we were like, oh, that's such a great thing. What a huge blessing. Well, she gets here and goes, you know, why don't we just go ahead and, you know, trim up the goat's hooves. So they started with uh, the, the, the girly goats and then they went on to Zeus and well, well, here, check some of the footage out. Hey Zeus, what are they doing to you? They're trimming the hooves? Yeah. Are you getting your hooves trimmed over here? Give Manny Petty. Let's yeah, give them Manny Petty. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then later. Eeyore's next. Yeah, it's gonna stink. Eeyore's next. You're doing good, dude. Just chilling out, getting the mani petty done. Yeah, they weren't. We'll take Whoa. care of them Hi, in a couple of days. It's Me? a lot better than it was. Look at that. King yeah. of the Mountain. And down he goes. Going on. I'm out of here. I'm headed for the hay bags. Oh, look, for the feed bags. Yeah, he is. Look at that. Okay, so now when you're trimming a goat's hooves, what exactly are you trying to do? What is what is, is it like a shape that you're going for? Or is it a um, like a level? How does it, how, what are you trying to actually accomplish? You're trying to get level. You're trying to get all the soft stuff off. And you don't want to hit blood. Blood's bad. Yep, you don't want to hit just where, if you start seeing pink, you got to give up and try again in another week and, and try to get it. And then you're trying to get them level so they walk and wear Even. that foot off right. Oh, Even. okay. And then they don't get hoof rot because they are wearing that off instead of letting it sit and get icky. All that gunk in there. Yep. So that's all gotta come out. Yep. Well, cool. Learning something new every day. And usually there's a flap that goes over here and you gotta cut that off first. And you try to get this as level as you can without hitting blood. There you go. So lickety split before you know it, she had done all the goats. And we have done goats in the past um, but we learned so much from her on how to get the right angles and how to get them a little more flat. Um, we were doing it, just not nearly as efficient as she was and just what a huge blessing. So 
Thank you, thank you, thank you to Sarah. And just super excited about the fact that we actually have a farrier on the schedule that's gonna hopefully take care of Eeyore's issues because we don't want to have the donkey in any kind of pain or anything like that. We love our donkey. Everybody, everybody loves the donkey. Everybody loves the burros and the churros and the whatnots and the who's it's, right? So anyway, just an unexpected blessing. Thought we'd share it with you and also just to make sure that we said thank you to Sarah. So Sarah, thank you. I am Brad with the Big Family Homestead and you guys have an amazing day.